What do you like? One card on the bottom for Sam. We're underway. Really weak on the pass. I'll say like two. Great way to start a match. Once upon a time. I love it. So, before we got started, I was uh, saying to the chat, the people of the of the Twitch chat, Riddlesmith is not a deck we've seen much <clears throat> on 90s MTG. Riddlesmith is a creature, 2-1 creature. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. It costs one and a blue. Vexing Bobble just hit the board, though, and that could be a big problem. How long is Chalice been Quite a while. Um, I'll say like five, six years. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it run any Storm cards? It can win with Storm. Yes. Uh, we're almost like the same thing. Yeah. Except Chalice I like more because... The land played by Sam was Planner Nexus, for anyone not familiar as well. Has every land type. Non-basic land type. Yeah, I know what you mean. It has to be stone. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's literally nothing else. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, so at turn one, Vexing Bobble got a scoop, and Sam is guessing it must be Storm. All right, I'll keep An extremely fast game one and game-ending Vexing Bobble. Two cards go on the bottom for Matthew. Melt to five. Uh, Urza Saga. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Pass to you. Uh, it looked like a Bajuka Bog on top. Tiller, thank you for the sub with Prime. Four months. Appreciate that. Once upon a time. And a once upon a time to start the game. So Urza Saga plus Mistress Bobble. Sam's already guessing you must be some kind of a storm deck. I was a little bit vague on purpose with my description of the Riddlesmith deck. I like to let people watch it play out and figure it out for themselves rather than giving all the answers. That's my approach anyway. But Urza Saga, like in many decks with Urza Saga, is just a backup plan. You just make some constructs and attack. A very real threat. Urza's tower was found with Once Upon a Time. Planner Nexus, the land we saw in game one, counts as both an Urza's, a power plant, a mine, a tower. So Urza's tower sees all three, sees the other two uh, Tron lands on the board. So Urza's tower can tap for three alongside Planner Nexus. Pretty cool. Here's a turn one Caracas. Okay, floating a blue mana and casting Echo of Eons just discarded to Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, just sewers? I have a spirit guide in hand. I think I'm not supposed to exile it because you can just move, move phases and then I use the mana. I'd rather have it in with my. And I put this one back in too? Uh, yeah, everything in your graveyard. Okay. Right, let's go. Here, uh, Sam saying there, I had an Elvish Spirit Guide in hand, thought about exiling it, but you could just change phases and I'd lose the mana. Something to think about. Um, it would have been fine because of the Ursus Suck in my hand, but without being able to play them, it's a lot rough. Is it correct to exile an Elvish Spirit Guide in that situation? I mean, Matthew has mana floating, too. He would have to throw that mana away, potentially. Spotted a gamble in hand. There's a volcanic island. I'm going to use the blue floating. Riddlesmith. This is the creature I was talking about. Diamond trigger. 
Breakthrough was a sorcery uh, card just discarded there. Whenever you discard a card, you... Oh, cool, so okay. So it combos with this, you just get to keep the cards effectively, cast them from exile, and that again, yes. That was Containment Construct, Sam was just looking at. We just saw a Grape Shot discarded. Gamble. Gamble, yeah. It's fine. I'm then going to crack for Red Blue, and I'm going to cast the uh, Echo of Eons I'm getting off the game. Oh. Okay. That'll be eight, and then I'll have uh, two blue and one red floating. So two blue, one red floating, and I believe Storm is now eight. Echo of Eons resolving again. Not sure what happened to Matthew's graveyard, though. A little confused what's going on. You have no mana floating, right? Okay, Echo of Eons is on the stack, that's why. We were just shuffling after Gamble. About literally everything else uh, when you explain that. Okay. Looks like Sam's thinking about responding to Echo of Eons. I kind of lost track of things for a moment there. But Echo of Eons still on the stack. I am going to exile Spirit Guide. Yep. Um, what could Sam have for this situation? That one actually seems really good against like. So green floating? Yeah. Okay, just exiled an Elvish Spirit Guide. There's a green floating for Sam. Storm is eight, two blue, one red floating for Matthew, and an Echo of Eons now resolving. So both players will get to see seven new cards. Like the breaker or um, strategy? Yeah. 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 It's always cutting. Like, just yeah, yeah, no, it's a good track. Yeah, lands. Yeah. Like, it's not that I don't trust you, I pull you, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, a track set, yes, you refuel, okay. but, like, there's, there's still a chance you won't win. Yeah, I... I okay. okay, players looking at new sevens. Matthew hoping to continue. Like extra protection. Yeah. Okay, now a second Riddle Smith. Yeah. Um, so like, like white decks can just kind of swap it. Or like yeah. Yeah. Okay, in response to the Riddle Smith, swords the other one. This guy is like hard to uh, attract. Oh no, I mean, uh, attract Yeah, yeah, they can't, they can't maze it. Like, uh, if they try to, if they try, like a lands that tries to maze it. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was cool because I hate music bits so much. I hate playing against music. Proper rotation. So I had Nexus. I had this Our play where um. Okay, crop rotation happening now. Sack the Caracas. Urza's tower. And I forced that. Nice. <laughs> dismember. I just killed three things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so sick. Okay, a dismember on the Riddlesmith. It dies. The, the ability still resolves, though, from the cast of Mox Opal, the cast trigger. Discarded a gamble. Plays a Lion's Eye Diamond. Urza's Bobble. Lotus Petal, and now flashing a gamble. Chromox, okay. There's a lot of storm right now. Uh, okay. Um, trigger I right. I don't know. Yeah, 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 sorry, I've been, I've been so trying to figure out what you're doing. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. I just so find so it really boring. boring. Yeah. 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 I think 16 so storm. like not I'm gonna too many decisions. Okay, it sounds like they're in agreement that there's 16 storm now. A gamble is resolving. Pastinha has arrived in the chat. Uh, yes. So I got rid of two riddle spells. There still needs to be a couple more spells to cast before the that should be spell okay. 17. For 17 spells now. Another Echo of Eons is resolving. Oh, yeah. 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 If what? Right. Oh, yeah, I'm at 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. <laughs> so I can sideboard properly. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Um, Matthew was pointing out if I draw a grape shot, I just win. Yeah, 
Yes, scribe. Make more stuff. Perfect. Uh, I sure, will I'll keep this one. Sure. My turn? Yeah. Cast a Riddle Smith. Okay. Uh, 19. Lotus Petal Trigger? Yeah. Um, Okay, there's another Riddle Smith on the board. Lotus Petal triggers it. Draw a card, discard a card. Discard's a Bowmaster. You can see now Bowmaster, Echo of Eons. There's some. There's there's like a variety of different things you can do to win the game with this deck. I'm then gonna miss Ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can. So interesting. Time to cast uh, five. This one. Wrong is good. You're good. Oh. Sorry, that's a log. <laughs> All then. Okay, Ulamog revealed. Bunch of bobbles were cracked, and I okay. Another bobble, disruptor flute. Pass to you and draw three cards. Sure. Passing the turn, drawing three cards off bobbles. So Matthew was not able to close it out despite having 19 storm. Has a riddle smith on the board. There's a Disruptor Flute in hand, which of course is a Disruptive card. Sam has an opportunity here, here to uh, take a look through the hand and figure out what can I do to stop another chain of storm spells, let's say. I think we've used three Echo of Eons in this game already. Is that right? So running low on some resources, I guess. Urza Saga has not made any constructs, but it will pop on the next turn. Storms one. Okay, crop rotation sacking the Urza's tower after floating a colorless mana. Planner Nexus is found. Uh, tower. Uh, the Wonder Ring. Okay, Urza's Tower ca taps for three. I explained this earlier alongside Planner Nexus. And the One Ring, everybody. The One Ring. Wow. Yeah. All right, passing it back. Kind of hard to grape shot your opponent. When they're under protection of the One Ring, same goes for Bowmaster. Urza Saga will make a construct using a face-down sleeve, the same color as the Library, and Sam will put something else instead. Defense grid trigger. Defense grid trigger the Riddle Smith. Trying to get some defenses up, I guess. This construct will be quite big. Currently, it's what? Six six. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you can go ahead. I, there's, I, yeah, this is in play. I could ferry the cub. Uh, I'm gonna have to discard something to hand dice first, but. Uh, Yep. Just gonna go Smith. This will go. Containment. Uh, trigger. Yeah. Just gonna go Smith. That goes into exile now. Oh, but no, because yeah, it's with the containment on the set. Oh, okay. okay. Now the containment resolves. Yeah, yeah. Now I go. I can. Containment Construct now on the battlefield. Whenever you discard a card, you may exile it. If you do, you may play it this turn. Kind of an interesting card in this deck because you discard, you know, a zero mana artifact to the Riddle Smith and you can just play it. Kind of broken. Oh, I, I got it. <laughs> Under the protection of Defense Grid, Sam can only really do something like Fair Macabre, as was pointed out. I did. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't want to redraw it. Okay. 
Sam is under the protection of the one ring this turn. But the construct is getting pretty big. I think it's clear at this point to everyone watching, if you haven't seen this Riddle Smith deck before, it can do a lot of cool things. Has a bunch of different ways of winning the game. Do you have any cards in hand? Uh, four. four cards in Matthew's hand. Sam able to find a couple extra cards with the one ring, but now needs to uh, solve some problems. Maze of Ith isn't too bad here. Yeah. Um, so you're doing that after this one resolves? Yeah. Wow. Good card. Mm -hmm. um, um, sure. Okay, that's fine. That's one to death. Yeah, no. I it was in one of my many other hands. <laughs> Let's just. Here's uh, work. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, some riddles might need to be solved. Get four cards in hand. Four cards in hand. I will pass the turn. Uh, and Steph, I'll crack the bottom. Yes. Do this. You'll get four. This one. Okay. Okay, Disruptor Flute revealed once again. Draw. Draw. You brainstorm. Okay. Uh, so you no longer under protection of the One Ring. It's a Mycosynth Gardens. Still be lethal, right? Okay. Uh, Non-token yeah, I'll do one more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can't make constructs. Post yeah. Ultra. Yeah. Ultra. Riddle Smith and Containment Construct combo still on the board. Mechasynth Gardens is an interesting card. Now there are two constructs, containment constructs. The card next to the phone in the bottom center is a construct token created by Urza Saga. So it's quite big here, but of course Sam still has Maze of If. Well, the containment construct is being cast now. It wasn't yet on the board. I think I said on the board, but it was in exile. Yeah. Uh, it's risky. Risky. But now it's on the board. Vote a blue. Play Mox Opal. Here we go. Okay. Trigger. On the turn, eat your metamorph. Mm -hmm. um, I will discard. Hex. Sure. Breakthrough, trigger. Oh. Breakthrough, that's sick. This will then go to the graveyard, do the legend rule. Okay, Breakthrough was just exiled. Interesting card from Torment. Don't know if people are familiar with this one. I'll get this text up on the screen. Draw four cards, choose X cards in your hand, discard the rest. Blue and X. I will discard Gamble. Gamble goes in. I will then move to combat. I will swing with these. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's a nine. Wait. Three, six, nine. Yeah. It's a nine, nine construct, containment construct. And Riddle Smith are all attacking. Maze of Ith is available. Sure. You haven't made a land drop. Uh, I'll lose two of my deck. Then I will try to shoot your. Just copying the That's weird. Okay. 
Um, you got it. Genius. So you have six power. That was a stream. Yeah. Currently <laughs> spent for four. Traz, thank you for the resub 19 months and a message. Another wonderful month of legacy content support. I really appreciate that. Couldn't do it without all of you that were buying memberships. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, Before I maze a bit, I'm mixing my words up. I want to message you your token. Yes, I can. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so before maze of it, we're besaging the construct token. And then mazing the containment construct. Okay. So a little bit of a rewind, friendly FNM fix here. The Riddle Smith will get through for some damage. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> like this is supposed to be yeah. 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 Now we're doing breakthrough. X is zero. The entire hand will be discarded, but they go under the containment construct or exiled with a containment construct. Now you can see the Lion's Eye Diamond. There's no cards in hand. They're all in exile. They've been discarded with Breakthrough. Uh, like the phonetics and stuff? I, have to, like, I think I have to force that. I will discard yeah. this. I think it's, it's just too so like, I can I also On the draw, I might this will go just keep it on the dazes. Yeah. The dazes is also pretty seven. Uh, Storm is currently seven. I will uh, play in. Yeah, me too. I, I, yeah, I kept general, it. yeah. Orcish I take out the dazes. Uh, uh, thank you for one. <laughs> Orcish Bowmaster comes in. I'm going to uh, chain of vapor. Sacrifice. Chain of vapor. Why did I have a cool? Sacrifice. Because I have these are like on exiles. Oh, oh, these are in my hand. I guess. Those are in your hand. It's really these bad are in exiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to keep them. It's effectively the same thing. How do you like the back? Oh, except when you play in cracked alley. Okay, so chain of vapor returned a bunch of artifacts to Matthew's hand by sacrificing a land to copy this spell and choose a new target each time. Chain of Vapor, an old card that maybe you're not familiar with. Now going to replay all the artifacts that were just bounced. I'm thinking of uh, like one vacuum, 11, and just two Correct for three reds. Yeah, I, I have to. There was an Into the Fire there. Cool, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I think these are like. I know, I'm sure in this man. They're, they're just okay. They're they're just okay. They're they're okay. Just okay. That was a lot to take in, but Matthew wins game two. I hope everybody's following what's going on. Don't sell unless you have. Yeah, this Riddlesmith deck is wild. It, it just does the strangest stuff. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's really hard to play against this. So there was a mulligan here. Vexing Bobble on turn one. That could be a problem. So there used to be $100 when I played. There is a Saga backup plan stuff going on. Uh, yeah. So like, like that. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy that Stalin was more expensive than Tundra. Yeah. Uh, my thing now is the, uh, don't don't buy like two pimp down. Ancient tomb plus there's a saga. That's a combo. You right? I'm gonna. So, it used to be I was chasing like you know ridiculous like Korean foil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 so disruptor flute got flashed in. Naming Urza saga. So Urza Saga can float a mana and search still. Yeah, brainstorm in modern uh, order until I think like something Dude. Horizon or Master. You are trolling, brother. Uh, Far yeah. That's a construct token in the center of the table. I think this, I think I keep whatever Vexing is on. Do you think you can still get Fanatic on Okay, Matthew was able to find a Lotus Petal with the Urza Saga. Doesn't uh, get affected by Vexing Bobble. Straight from the library to the battlefield. It's been sacked. Oh, no, it hasn't been sacked. Okay. That's all I was going to say. Exiles, target artifact. Or, uh... Cool. Okay. And then slammed it. And then... Okay, cast into the fire. Just blew up. Exiled Vexing Bobble. That unlocks a lot of plays here for Matthew, who just drops a whole bunch of artifacts. 
Construct getting kind of big. Storm is four, Lion's Eye Diamond on the board. To attack. <laughs> and now Echo of Eons. Floating two, so I can have another one. Wait, I crack the LED from two to go up to four blue. Yeah. And then I'm going to float two. Uh, and then I'm going to use one to pay for the Echo of Eons. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making Okay, so three blue will be floating. Echo of Eons resolving, it looks like. At least I get to uh, take my hand less embarrassing. I don't know. You know, like, you didn't have a daze. You also had carbon in it. So I feel like that was So I like, I mean, if you have carbon in your hand, that's definitely like a. My deck is very artifact heavy. Yeah, exactly. It's a. Yeah, the players are talking about Karn, the great creator. Uh, based on what we've seen so far, it looks like that card would be a big problem for Matthew. Yeah. He was doing like, oh, like, that's like whatever he can do or something. Or whatever. Yeah, maybe they will get him down. We'll see. We will see. Um, okay. uh, I will. All right, both players looking at new sevens. Some more zero mana artifacts will be played. Looks like Storm is now six. Uh, bobble, bobble, go to eight. LED, I'll cast Gamble. Okay. I mean, I'm going to crack the LED after anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go Like, uh... So, like, you pick whichever one of these two. Uh, I will then crack the LED to make uh, three red. Okay, so a gamble found an Echo of Eons, it looks like. The hand will be discarded anyway to Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond will float three red, Matthew said. Two blue floating and three red. Because I have to pay the one blue for Echo, as well as the two. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. So Echo will go to Exile, and we will shuffle. That is ten storm. Ten storm, resolving an Echo of Eons. Yeah, you could have made ten three bubbles. But then you could have just gotten the LED with your Urza Saga. Yeah. That was my mentality. Okay. Sorry, I mean, I could have also gotten Haywire Might or some other stuff. Oh, like, yeah. That's a lot of good stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I will then. Uh, so cool. Eleven. Mm -hmm. um, LED. Twelve. Storm is twelve. Just trying to close this out. It looks like another lion's eye diamond. Um, I'm going to use two red. Defense grid? 14? Now defense grid protection, 14 storm. Sacking an LED, discarding the hand. Oh, that use two blue and one red to cast Echo of Eons. And there was another Echo of Eons available, so we're going to Echo of Eons again. What can you do, though? Seven cards, six, seven cards. Seven, 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 nothing with seven cards. Seven mana. You don't know, there's nothing you can do with that. Six mana available in the pool. Mox Opal still available untapped. Looks like 15 Storm now. Sam's life total is 16. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play Karn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I saw Grape Shot. There's Grape Shot, and that is the game. Riddle Smith, everybody. Maybe people should be taking this deck more seriously. What do you think? GG's. GG's.